Joining me now is Egon Vermaay from Aurora. And Egon, Aurora has recently joined the UPU Consultative Committee. Can you tell us a bit about that? What led Aurora to take this step? Thank you, Ia. Good to be here. Um, Aurora, we are developing uh, software for comp compliance and customs. So basically, and uh, we are already working with uh, some of postal operators already. And uh, we are building up our solutions based on data and data standardization. And I think this is a key. Uh, we put our knowledge, tech knowledge, uh, customs knowledge, uh, machine learning knowledge, and also IT knowledge into one. And we help companies, uh, postal companies, to get rid of this burden, how to build up uh, IT systems. So, and this is what we are doing. And we see it's a great opportunity for us especially, uh, because uh, we are getting more closer to understand postal world better, to understand the standards better, and help them to go through this change of their business processes when we provide our solutions for them. So you've just talked about these challenges in cross-border, especially when it comes to custom codes and all of the new laws and regulations that are coming into place. What are some of the pain points or some of the challenges that you're seeing in the postal world in relation to all of these things? I think uh, the difficulty is actually that uh, the, there are coming new regulations all the time. And to keep up your organization, it's quite difficult and also complex when we talk about cross-border and especially when there are different solutions like DDP, DDU, how you, how you manage it. So, and we, we are here to help the postal companies to provide their, our solutions and uh, hopefully uh, we, we can build our solutions even better for the postal community. One of the challenges in the postal world is that posts deal with everyone from large e-commerce players through to you know, grandparents sending presents to grandchildren in another country. So can posts access all of these sorts of technologies? Um, well, how can they easily access these sorts of technologies? Actually, it all comes down to standardization, actually, because the data flow is more or less the same, but the products or the processes behind it are different. So. This is where we come and help you. Now, returning to the theme of the UPU and the UPU Consultative Committee, what, um, what do you see as maybe the role of Aurora and the other new members of the committee? Or even what do you think that you can provide um, the organisation as a whole as part of your involvement in, in the UPU Consultative Committee? I, I think it's a, it's a great and brave move but, uh, that UPU has done, that they are opening the doors, actually. And what you are getting is you're getting different IT companies. Some of our, uh, them are competition to us anyway, but you have the choice now and, uh, and you, you can choose. And, uh, and, and these IT companies can ease, ease uh, you with your business processes. We can build up because we are mainly focused on developing IT software. So, and I think this is, uh, and we are moving quite fast. So, this is what we can put on the table and, uh, and de deliver to the postal world. You just mentioned moving quite fast. That's a, a, a challenge that's thrown up by the e commerce world now, isn't it? And the cha you mentioned the changing regulation. So, just in closing, is there one thing that you could say, well, here's how a post or a postal operator or even a postal regulator who wants to understand the postal world, how we can react quickly to this changing environment? I can give you some examples. We, we, we have just finished uh, with, uh, with, with uh, one postal, uh, postal uh, we have built some collection, tax collection solutions. So uh, from, from beginning, from the first meeting to deliver, it took us three months. So basically the product is there and they are using it as a white label. Or we have another partner, uh, we have built uh, for them export control uh, uh, for dual use co goods. So, and we are covering now US, UK and Europe. So, and uh, the whole process with them took four months, so, so basically. So this is what I talk about, it's, it's, it's fast. Uh, what, what do you mean? It's not only understanding the, uh, the requirements and standardization, but also the development goals are. And this is what we can really deliver because, as I mentioned, we have the competence who understands the uh, compliance side, we have the competence who understands the 
uh, IT side and also we are using, uh, a, as, as I mentioned, a lot of data that we are using machine learning that actually can take care of this uh, huge amount of data. Uh, also the different languages and, uh, and, uh, and the different uh, uh, areas of the world. Egon Vermeer from Aurora, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much.